unique morning time. Uh, here's a unique morning. They got this whole sunshine coming in. And all of a sudden, pshow, sunshine in my poo poo. Okay. Always turn, always close down the hatch. So, unfortunately, my, my roommate comes back from her vacation uh, tonight or tomorrow or whatever, and therefore, and therefore, I am, you know, I'm done here in the uh, so-called presidential suite. Um, I will have to show you up one more, one more, uh, one more filming of uh, the shower show. Um, shower slash shaving show, where I shave and I shower. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Anyways, in uh, other news, I'm an avid follower of uh, Chris, Chris uh, Chindress and Chandler. I've been following him since he was becoming famous back in old, like 90, 2005 or 2000, well, 2010 maybe. Uh, I'm a historian and I'm quite supported by the uh, Rutgers Bill. The Virginian government did not persecute him for spraying this harmless, this harmless worker with a uh, mace. Which was pepper spray makes uh, last Christmas. All because he doesn't like a uh, Sonic 2 to have uh, blue arms, so he, wants, he goes crazy and he decides to uh, you know, spray this guy. He ran over a, 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 a man he didn't like and he, he, he stole a lot of merchandise too. Chris thinks he lives in an autistic, Christian Russell Chandler. This is an artistic magical fairy world where he believes that the, the rules of society don't apply to him. So, <laughs> I think he can steal anything he wants. Um, personally, I think Chris is doing this on purpose. He knows he's a fat, disgusting pig. Uh, I'm a fat, disgusting pig too, so I. I'm quite well, well aware of that, please you guys point that out. Uh, but at least I don't go around doing super shit. I mean, I go, I go, I volunteer to earn my way. I have a job. I go to school. There's ayahuasca. I'm trying to, you know, there's also the ayahuasca aspect of things. Um, so what I'm doing here with shit with my shaving even shower, so I have one of those scrunchies, well this scrunchie is falling apart, but I have a scrunchie and I usually fill it up with uh, soap or body wash and then I just, uh, just go away, but my body wash right now is a uh, very gruel like because of the environmental impact of me watering it down. So I shave and I shave and I shave. Uh, well I get home and I clean this place up, um, factory the floors and everything, then in the evening watching either Coordination Street or X-Files. But I think Coordination Street is coming up there for me. Um, uh, <sighs> their problems are their problems are just extra marital problems. Boring, you know. Back in the day, in the early 90s, you know, you got you got Coordination Street characters flipping out financially, or driving into the canal, you know, mass suicide. You have uh, tram, the tram exploding uh, a few years ago. Uh, you, got, you got fires on the deck. Um, in this case, I was expecting that perhaps that uh, they uh, find the dead body that they that they that they uh, that they, uh, that they um, Logan Moore or Caleb Moore, Caleb Morgan's dead body, and they were able to. Uh, Find out he's still alive somehow uh, by when they go renovate when they go renovate the uh, renovate the basement for the heater um, or whatever. Uh, I was expecting that actually, but uh, hope the uh, the episode of hope surviving inside surviving stomach cancer was a very good one. I like that. I like that concept. Um, but now I think the show's dying out, you know. It's dropped for two million viewers or so in, uh, in England. Um, 
stop stimulating the alert. I was expecting more, uh, you know, I was expecting more crazy murder, revenge kind of idea. Maybe, um, <coughs> Maybe, maybe Tracy, Tracy Barlow loses her shit. Maybe the episode where Tracy Barlow loses her shit and uh, uh, anti-epidemitis. You, know. uh, you know, the episode where Tracy Barlow loses her shit and perhaps starts to uh, try to try to murder uh, Carla. So most likely I'll be returning back to my American roots of television uh, watching. Um, Soap operas and stuff are just not for me. I mean, it's just turning up. I was expecting British soap operas to be different, you know, shit blowing up and. You know, shit blowing up and stuff. But, um. <clears throat> it's turning out to be just another episode, just another knockoff of uh, Dallas or All My all my Children or some bull, richy rich bullshit like that. The, the thing that made uh, Coronation Street Coronation Street was this is about, was about working class English folk. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe a stalker hooligan comes in town and starts smashing shit up, or there's a serial killer stalking them on the street, which is improbable because they're like maybe a 20, you know, 20 meter by 20 meter, a 20 meter by 20 meter neighborhood. So, uh, a one kilometer by one kilometer um, neighborhood block of townhouses. But, um, so yeah, thank you for sticking with me, uh, just watching me uh, groom myself and this blade, this, that blade for the um, for the uh, for the eraser is quite dull. Uh, we talked about our plans of going to uh, California uh, last episode or the last 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 session, very brief new session. So. Uh, I was hoping I could find some exfoliant in there, but I couldn't find any exfoliant in there. Uh, that's a shame. Uh, oh, I have some exfoliant over there, actually. I have my own. Uh, I'll do that before, before I close up tonight. I'll just clean this place up and do a like, quick body wash and exfoliant later on tonight. And prepare for the rightful owner to take, the, take control of the room again. <coughs> it's really fun. Look what I can do! <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, but it's like basically I'm a happy cloud. The freaking guy goes, "Look what I can do!" <laughs> he, he um he took the uh, air cleaner or no the uh, toothbrush, electric toothbrush, and the whole thing snapped. He took the electric toothbrush and uh, basically zapped his ear with it. Uh, so nothing much on our friend on our end. It's still winter as fuck. I kill the temperature at night sometimes. That's why it's so foggy in here as well. Uh, I, okay, so we have we'll do the, do the usual steam goes bye bye trick. Um, turn off my geeky gig, and I go, woohoo! It's cold in here. So I turn off the temperature. Even though it's sunny, even though it's sunny now, it's really nice and sunny in there. But steam goes bye bye. You don't see it because it's all you can't really see it with this, uh, with this, with this, with this, with this bathroom. You see it in the other bathroom though. And I'll, I'll, I'll film that steam goes bye bye trick. Um, <coughs> steam goes bye bye. I love this camera though. I mean, this is this is a very high resolution camera. This is a very good, powerful camera. Um, like I said, it's not, it's not many, oh, I don't really need to turn this on because it's already 12 o'clock, so, 12 o'clock on a Sunday, that's what I love, that's what I love about springtime, you can just open up the windows, get some fresh air, hear the sounds of sub, sweet sounds of summer, no, guys fixing shit in their cars, uh, fixing shit in the garages, fixing sh doing the lawn, uh, fresh, and fresh air in the morning, that kind of thing. Um, I have a minute to hang out with you guys. You can't do that in winter time. Unfortunately, everything's all covered in uh, in Canada. Everything's all covered in uh, 
uh, slow melt, so big wounds to that. Uh, what else can we do? Nothing much, I, I'm afraid. Uh, I was planning to plant some bushes right where the dry area was, so we sell this. When my roommate sells this place when she finishes graduate studies, then um, in a few years, then uh, I can actually move out. She's a roommate from. Uh, she's a she's 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 a she's a roommate uh, <coughs> from. And. Uh, <coughs> Sorry about that. She is a roommate, and uh, we both um, trying to use our professional money. Um, she's a she's a um, she is a uh, an acquaintance of the family, anyways. Uh, and there's another guy, uh, another another roommate of hers downstairs in the other room, and another one in the other room. Her parents have moved to Dubai to be oil engineers, so she's she decided to rent out to a bunch of uh, engineering students. I'm not an engineering student, maybe a social engineer, but. Uh, what else can I say? I'm volunteering this afternoon, so. This afternoon I'm volunteering, so I have to come home quickly to clean this place up. Uh, it'll be really fun. And. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys get to see me bathe in the uh, presidential chamber one more time. The presidential sh sh uh, cleaning chamber. So, the sun's got the sun's streaking in, so that's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice effect, actually. So, thank you for watching my show. We're gonna be right back. I remember doing selfies back in back back in the day when I had those blocky cameras, and I used to do the arm hold, the whole arm thing back in the nineties. So I did it when I was cool. But now I have a selfie stick. The um the tripod thing here. The tripod thing here is a selfie stick. <laughs>